Hello guys, before to speak about Python classes or objects, I want to give you a brief overview about the object-oriented programming language. So, here, as you see, Python is an OOP language. So, uh, as I said you, almost everything in Python is an object with its properties and methods, for example, an object of class int, of class list, of class tuple, or whatever class. But what is a class? A class is a blueprint for creating the objects. So, for example, I show you a real-life example. Here we have a car, an Audi car, but does not matter. As you see, this is a blueprint, so this is a project. This is not an object, this is only a draw. So, as you see, hopefully each car has four wheels, two rear mirrors, one engine, one color, but, for example, when I will build the object, so when I go to the factory, to the Audi factory in this case, and I build the car, each car will have different attributes. So, for example, one car can have a wheel radius of 17th inch, another one of 18th inch, and so for the width, for example. Um, or, for example, a car can be red, another can be blue, another can be grey. A car can have a kind of motor, another car a more powerful motor, and so on. For example, a car can have uh, also a different acceleration or a different braking time. So, first of all, I will define some methods. So, for example, this car can accelerate or can brakes. But, for example, which attributes influence the acceleration time or the braking time? For sure, the color, that is, an attribute does not influence the acceleration. But maybe the motor size instead influence the acceleration or also the size of the car influence the acceleration because the air in this spider car is flowing very well with respect to another car for example so the uh, acceleration will be influenced by some attributes but not from other kinds of attributes okay then for example from this car i can build another car but I inherit some features or many features of this car. For example, I build another kind of Audi, but always a spider, for example, but instead to have a mechanical engine or a combustion engine, I will have an electric engine. So what changes is very less, but something changes. So I can inherit my new car from the existing one, which is this. Okay, guys, after this brief and easy introduction, see you the next time in which we will enter in the detail of the Python programming language in terms of classes and objects.